y'all welcome back welcome back to jackie's world how y'all doing today happy memorial day happy monday i know y'all say i taught her singing it's okay though anyway let me stop cutting up so y'all this is a last minute video for real okay um you know i be just thinking in my mind about stuff so let me tell y'all before we get in the video it's a simple and quick and easy video today all right, it's, it's easy recipe. I had to try to like throw my hair up real quick to get started, okay? So I was looking at, I had some leftover oatmeal cream pies. The kids like oatmeal cream pies. I'm not big on them, but I thought to myself, how about some homemade oatmeal cream pies? What y'all think about that? Homemade oatmeal cream pie? Let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. All right, so let me pull my table over here. Cause we in it, we in it to win it. Y'all, and I had an excellent weekend. I had a couple of things I went to, a couple of cookouts, and it was something nice, you know, and everything. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and start with the ingredients first. So I'm doing the oatmeal, remember I said, and I'm not uh, blending up anything. I thought about blending it up, but I was looking at a couple of recipes, and this is just my last minute idea okay this is not what i saw on my answer video um just so you know because it's crazy so i have one cup of oats old-fashioned oats all right and um i'm going to use applesauce and i think i did this last year when i first started my channel and i did it one time before and it came out so good and um i, I don't know about this time Cause I don't want to use eggs. I don't want to use none of all the rest of that stuff, okay? Especially if it's if it's not really what I wanted. So what I thought about doing for real for tomorrow for work was making me a um. I really wanted to make myself a um oatmeal bread. I think I'll make some oatmeal bread. I'll just make some baked oatmeal. But you know I gotta ground it up and everything. And I should have ground this up for real. I really should have. Because I don't know how that's going to go. I really don't. And like I said already, it's, it's just a trial and error today. And I really hadn't planned on getting on. I really didn't. Because I was thinking like, I don't have my table set up. It's not a bunch of stuff good today. You know... And I was trying to, you know, I don't like to come on when I don't have a really good idea and everything is all set up and nice, you know. I really hate not having it all together. But I said, hey, I'm in here, I'm bored. Why not do an episode? Okay, this is pumpkin spice, y'all. And I'm just shaking that in there. And I don't know, I seen somebody do um like bacon powder. I don't know if I want to do bacon powder. I don't know what I want to do with these cookies. I really don't want to put nothing much in them for real. And I, and I know they're not going to be all right, all that. So I'm just shaking a little bit of um, brown sugar in them. So I guess there's a couple of tablespoons or whatever. Like you said, yeah, she, she should have stayed off the TV today. Don't worry about it, y'all. Don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. And um, I didn't really want to do peanut butter in it with it. I've seen people do peanut butter in it with it, but I didn't want to do that either. Then I thought I had to some um, uh, pudding, and I didn't have none of that. So I'm doing this almond milk, y'all. I hope I'm not doing too much of it. So that's one cup of that. And I'm not stressed or anything today, so it's not a uh, big therapy today. It's just kind of like going with the flow today, I guess. Maybe to cure the boredom today, probably. I should be resting, but you know what I do? I find myself, and I don't know if nobody else finds themselves doing this. Do you find yourself, y'all, I might have got it too watery now. Mm. 
Well, I was going to say, do you find yourself just sitting there watching YouTube over and over again or on social media over and over again? So this is my time to get off of that, to get out of it, leave it alone. way of getting off of um social media for real like not really keep sitting up there watching because that just kind of like i don't know that's even more boring sometimes in itself ain't it ain't it wait a minute y'all gonna get something else out there wait a minute so i feel like i need to thicken it up some because i got it too watery i put a little look we did the side cream before we're gonna put a little side cream in I know it's crazy, y'all. But it's okay to be different, ain't it? I'm gonna drop my napkin. I think it probably would have been better browned up, don't y'all? We just put one sliver. We just put one sliver in there. And I think it's been better ground up um, oatmeal and made it into oatmeal cookies. I don't know what you're gonna say. This this oatmeal slop? I don't know. Mm. Mm. Remember this trial and error today if you're watching, okay? Don't trip. Don't trip. sugar to it. I don't know why I don't get my blender out, my mixer out, y'all. So, y'all, the first, um, let me taste this real quick, see if it did any better. The first cookout I went to was, um, Really at the church. It was a church cookout. Not at my church. But it was a singles ministry. And I probably was the youngest person there. But I'm going to tell y'all, I really felt like I got some good advice. You know how you go to something just because you want to go, you want to get out the house, and then you think it's, you're not going to get anything out of it? Y'all, but I got to say, I got out of it some excellent word like it was meant for me to go you ever been somewhere and you don't really want to be there but it was like meant for you to go excuse me y'all look for my partner people but anyways this older gentleman started talking and he was just talking about his life and you know how he started out and how he became a christian and everything at like 12 years old right and I was just listening to his story, and I was thinking to myself, like, man, he persevered through all that that he had to go through, you know. And I always tell y'all that um, I be inspired by other people, just listening to what they have to say, you know. Yes, y'all, this is crazy because I'm not putting any, uh, we're going to see if it even measure up to anything. I didn't put any, um, what you call on there. I should have sprayed the parchment paper. This just oatmeal. Just oatmeal on the, on the sh baking sheet, okay? <laughs> she just putting oatmeal on the baking sheet. It's okay. We can go with that, too. Hello, somebody. See what it do. That's what you get when you're bored, huh? But I tell you one thing, I'd rather be bored in the house by myself than out in the street doing something I ain't got no business. 
I never thought that this time of my life that I'd be so grateful and so thankful about so many things. Even in the midst of pain, I'm thankful to God. And all the hurt, all the pain, all the everything, I'm thankful. Can y'all see anything? Did y'all see anything I did? Did you see anything? Oh, yeah, you can see. Um, and I think everything's going to be okay. And you got to think that too. That everything's going to be all right. Even though it don't... Even though it don't seem like it. I'm going to put a little bit of peanut butter on some of them. Just for a top a couple of them with the mixture that we had before. Oh, that one got too much on it. Oh, she got too much on it. And then these other ones, I'm going to put a little cinnamon on top of it. Is it too much, y'all? Too much, too little. We put a little cinnamon on top of that, too. Too much, too little. Well, I'm going to tell y'all in a second when I put these in the oven. So I'm going to put these in there for like 15 minutes. Y'all, we're going to see what they what they mount up to. If they're going to come up to anything, they're going to be crispy, they're crunchy, they or soggy. Suckers. Soggy suckers. We're going to see. All right. So, look. What I was saying was. The guy was talking about uh, his life. You know, his young life. And, and how he became a Christian and everything. And I thought to myself. You never know nobody's story. You know, you look at people. You watch them. they quiet. You don't know. And you don't know really what they had to tell you. To help you out in your journey. Right? we all supposed to be helping each other out in our journey in life. So as I sat there on Saturday and I listened to him, I felt like God was speaking through him to me at the same time. You know, you ever uh, feel bad about yourself and you think to yourself that you didn't do anything in life? Like, you know, everybody around you, especially when you go to those uh, singles things and everybody's older, everybody got a master's. PhD or this or that or whatever. And I, I don't have anything but a little associate's degree that don't even benefit me. That I paid, you know, all this money that I paid out for, for what? It didn't do no good, right? So you feel down on yourself. Like I'm single, you know, and how I'm going to mingle with anybody when all of them looking for somebody on their level. Like I'm not on their level. I'm, I'm beneath them because really all I do is work with food. You feel me? So anyway, I told him that he inspired me. And he said, yeah, how so? And I said, I'm going to tell you how so. Because you overcame so many obstacles in your life. And looking at you, I wouldn't even think that you had those obstacles. And it just made me have a brighter uh, uh, faith, like more hope on life itself. Even though it's a lot of bad things happening. Okay, and it's been so many times that I feel like I want to quit. I want to throw in the towel. With life, with the with the silly little show that I got right here that I'm talking to you. Because sometimes I feel like it matters. Sometimes I feel like it don't. Sometimes I want to go back and delete everything, you know. But just him talking that day, the thing that really matters in the big scheme of things, and I thought about it, it ain't about your degree. It ain't about where you at. In the big picture, in the whole big picture, that's really about everything that's going on. It's about what you do for God is what's going to last. You know, who did you touch that day? And Saturday, that man, I don't know how many other people that he touched with his with his testimony, he touched me. And so you never judge a book by its cover. I don't care what color it is. Don't judge it by its cover or color. You heard me? Because sometimes you don't know really what, what's there for you. You got to open your mind and really look at everything around you. Open your mind, open your eyes, open your ears, Okay. Because I hadn't even told and said it in front of people. I wasn't even going to come. I wasn't even going to come because I felt like, what's the point of me coming? You know, I'm the only black person here. I'm the only young person here. You know, but wisdom was in the room, okay? That just came to me. It don't matter what color you are. You can learn from every person in the world. And sometimes you're supposed to be around older people because they got more wisdom. 
us young people, I ain't all that young, but middle age and younger, we think that we know it all, but we don't. And there's so much more wisdom, it's, and you can learn from somebody else. And God used everybody, young or old. So Saturday, I was in a room that I was supposed to be in. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of times, you in the room that you're supposed to be in, even though you think you're not supposed to be there, you're supposed to be there. And when I left that singles meeting on a Saturday night, I felt like I was on cloud nine. I know I didn't meet nobody, but the word that I got encouraged me to the fullest. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And it ain't always about meeting somebody. Sometimes you got to think about what can you give to somebody and not just you, not just your number. Because if you ain't a whole person by yourself, you don't go and ruin somebody else. And I feel that. And I, I feel like in this stage of my life, I don't know about this thing. You know, sometimes you think you know, sometimes you think you want somebody, sometimes you think you just and that. Then I think to myself, it's good to be by yourself, to be quiet. And I think I said that on my last video, to really figure this thing out. Because when you do step into somebody else's life, or vice versa, you don't want to step in with a bunch of baggage. You want to step in clear mind, clear headed, and, and gifts, whatever gifts that God has for you to bless somebody else. And everybody's supposed to be a blessing to the next person. All right, y'all, I'm going to stop preaching. I don't even know how I got that far. But stay tuned. We're going to see if we can make these oatmeal cream pies. All right, y'all. So I'm back. And I pulled some of the cookies off the tray. Okay, and there's two of them. Pieces with the um, peanut butter on them. Crumbled up. I mean the uh, peanuts on them. Sorry, peanuts on them. And two plain with just the cinnamon on it. Okay. So before we go into getting started to making the oatmeal cream pie, this is what the oatmeal cream pie look like. I know y'all. I know y'all know what they look like, but I just wanted to show you this oatmeal cream pie. Okay. But we're gonna do our homemade oatmeal cream pie. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to do two different ones. Now. I got this cool whip that I opened up last week, so I wanted to use some of this so it don't go bad, you know, because it's only good for 14 days. So we're going to do one cool whip cookie and one cookie with the icing. Hey, look, let's do it. All right, so the one cool whip cookie, I think I'm going to do the one with the nuts on top of it. And I was thinking about something while I was off camera. You know how we always say Happy Memorial Day. And you remember how I said Mother's Day is rough for me because my mother's gone. And this can be a happy weekend for some and a miserable weekend for others because they've lost their children, their parents, or, you know, that was in the military that sacrificed their life for us. So to all the fallen soldiers and their families, I salute you today. And I thank you for the sacrifice you made, even though I know a lot of them going on and they don't know. We couldn't be here in the United States like we are without the sacrifice of others, sacrificing their life for others to help with the terrorists and everything else going on in this world. You know, so a lot of times we forget that when we celebrate and talk about three-day weekend, long weekend, we happy and joyful while other people are suffering. And I know that's a part of life because I, I feel like sometimes I've been down too long and I'm tired of being down. But I do want to, you know, send my um, condolences and my um, camaraderie or however you say that if I'm saying it right. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to say that right. But my thanks and give honor to where honor is due. Okay. So that's the cool whip one on that side. I know it says she always getting off topic. I know, right? And then we're going to do this. Look, this decorating icing. Y'all, I'm going to use this. I was going to open up icing and stuff. I'm not going to no icing. We got this decorating. Now, we're going we're gonna to decorate. All right. You don't see that? We're just going to take this icing and go around. Huh. I thought I was doing something when I come up to the screen. I thought I was doing something. All right. And then I will come back up though. And we just go in and we ain't even gotta smooth that one around. We can just oh snap that 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 y'all. 
Jackie's homemade oatmeal cream pie. Which one should we try first? The one with the ice and the one with the Cool Whip? I think we better try the Cool Whip one first. Cool Whip it is. Cool Whip it is. Okay. Let's try the Cool Whip one first. What y'all think? Turn on the round. No, I like that. <laughs> I like that cool with one. And then let's try the one with the icing, with the vanilla icing. That's good too. The icing is more sweet at all. Like the regular oatmeal cream pie. One with the cool whip is the best. Cool whip is the best. The cool whip is the best. This your healthy um oatmeal cream pie. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, just when I thought the video was a dud, it come out to be numero uno, number one in my book. Cause I'm a little bit more healthy today, and it's it's better and everything. And I hope I inspired somebody today. I hope I encouraged you. To keep on keeping on. To keep on trucking, baby. I hope I inspired you to do your best at whatever it is you do. No matter how small you think you are. Because a lot of time I think I'm small. But think how more highly of yourself than you are too. Only because sometimes we make ourselves on the back burner and put everybody else up on the top. Now I know the Bible says that you're not supposed to put yourself you know, all above, like you, you know, but give yourself a boost of encouragement today. Okay. Not saying that you better than anybody, than anybody else, but you're not down here for them. We on the same level. We going up together, no matter what you got. Okay. All right, y'all keep on coming, keep on liking, keep on subscribing and keep on being yourself. Y'all got to tell you, you got to be yourself because I'm, I'm closing off for real. Close off a real time. But I got to say this real quick. Um, yesterday, when I was at my girlfriend's house, she did a, say like a cook-in. Cook-out slash cook-in. Anyway, um, the one lady asked me, she said, are you from New York? And I said, no. She said, your accent. And I said, you know, it probably was from me always picking at, uh, doing the Fran. You know, everybody, anybody that watched The Nanny? And Fran Drescher, and this lady named Fran, her parents from, were from New York. She would say, Mr. Sheffield, Mr. Sheffield. But also because I, I never liked the way I sounded. Because when I was younger, kids used to pick at me about, you sound so country. You sound like you from down south. And you know I still get that. So by me always trying to change myself. But I'm learning, you don't need to change yourself. If people don't like the way you sound, they don't like the way you look or nothing else, change the atmosphere, change the room, and you get out of there. Hello, somebody? Because now people don't know where I'm from. But you know where I'm from? Where I'm supposed to be. Messed up uh, accent at all. Country and, and northern all at the same time. But it's going to get right. Because <laughs> remember, I'm a work in progress. You're a work in progress. But God got us. All right, y'all. Peace out.